and USC have etched their name among the legendary squads in college football. And in this game, one team will have the right to join them. The BCS championship game is finally here. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA college football action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. BCS National Championship game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. As they get ready for the opening kickoff. The kick is away and the National Championship is underway. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He makes his way out to about the 35. It's great when the running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. There. And that's because the defense was just waiting on him in the attack. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yards. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. But here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third and 12. Ball on the 33. coaching staff has just been raving about this kid putting up some monster stats this season he's a great fit for their system i think that's the key right now that's one of the reasons why he's putting up numbers that are among the nation's elite vincent is the punter You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. They get five yards on the play. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. From the 48-yard line, second down. 
Why not? Makes the first down catch. On the 20. He's tackled out of bounds on the five-yard line. This is a pretty good moment for this young man because he pushes his season receiving total to 1,000. It's really an impressive number, especially when you consider the defenses know the ball is going to be thrown his way. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. He's on the run. He's got an opening. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. So a short three-play, 53-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, if this one is going to keep going like it is, we're going to be in for a heck of a football game. Well, let's hope so. This, this seems to be a very competitive matchup, and right now we're seeing the early dividends of that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Let's go, let's go. Go for three, nine. Three, nine. And they push him out around the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. yard line. He is drilled at the 44. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game. And it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw that. Quick throw. That'll make it second and four. They're a little bit confused on how to handle it. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled right around the 20. They're about four yards away here on second down. At the 18-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 16-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He fights forward to about the 13. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's the 11th play of the drive. Easy, easy. 
He's taken down around the three-yard line. Circumstances confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So a 12 play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play time with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven on this one. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is off. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. McBride picks up around five yards with that catch from their own 23-yard line. Second down. So caught out of the open. Lost the ball, come down. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Sloppy here with a ball handle. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlet. Makes the catch and look out. And he's level at the 38. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Offense lines up in a five wide set. And defense anticipating pass here. Looking for his man. Incomplete. Team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Taylor, back to return it. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws completely stopped the meeting. It. He's in space, and he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Just got hit and hit hard. 
if I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So the sack makes this third and very long. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. The national championship has been neck and neck as our first quarter ends. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up. And he missed it off the upright. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he throws right away. Now, if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 34. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Here's the pass. Broken up. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. the needle and it's not going to work. Nice hit by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback and once it was thrown he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Taken down to the backfield. There, he's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down, 10 to go. One in the 42. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. it out to about the 31-yard line. down and they need to get it to the 21. Perfect call by the defensive 
defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. You kick is up, and they tack on three points. Vincent, I need a kick. Smith from the three. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Now he's scrambling. Dives, and he's down. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas A&M is up by three. And he carries the ball. Nice game. Incomplete intended for 
Why not? Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. First down grab by the receiver. Take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 38. And they make the stop around the 48 yard line. So they've been up quite a few yards on that point, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Texas A&M holds the field goal lead. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 33-yard line. We're in play number nine of this current drive. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Texas A&M's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Complete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. This is the 11th play of this drive. With a quick throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texas a &M. He's getting awfully close now to the school's single-season passing record. It's been a terrific campaign for this young man from day one. Breaking that record would be quite an honor. And he adds the extra point. This time out. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. It's an out to his receiver and he can't hang on. That makes it six and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 17. And down he goes. That's the 26. Hands. You 
You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score, 17-7, Texas A&M. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And it's David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, dude. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you, they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of it, knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Or maybe it's time I say something to you too. It's time to pick up your game at halftime. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Kirk Street's first point of analysis is? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, gets to about the 24-yard line. So the Aggies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have a luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime rushes. Almost completely stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 28. Who's tied in? And he's taken down right around the 48 yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 48. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires it quickly. That makes it second and ten. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the forty-two. some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. Well, this defense would love to keep the pressure on. They'll need to if they plan on standing on that winning stage. So we're just about ready to return to action. He's taken down the 39 yard line.
Leads Kevin and the ball comes out. Recovered by the offense. And down at the 32. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. So the sack makes this third and very long. Vincent is waiting for the snap. And he just got stood up right there. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to put the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Caught on the field. Tackle against the 45. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Now bring him down at about the 33-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's going to be sacked for the loss. Something good may just happen. Taylor is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, excellent point. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. And for Wagner, he's been a force for this defense. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go and they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he's bringing. The thing I like is they're mixing up their looks and they're doing a good job of making the quarterback uncomfortable. He's just one guy on a team of over 90 or so that are fighting to win college football's biggest prize. And right now, they're on the outside looking in. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He's hit and taken down. Chucks it downfield. Caught by the sophomore. 
Touchdown, Aggies! He's just broken the school's record for passing yards in a season. He's taken apart every secondary they faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. Texas A&M's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out. Tackle made to the 33 yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught out of the open. He's tackled at the 43. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Throwing right. It's caught. First down. He's out of bounds. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They come out on an empty backfield. He throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's a quick throw. And he can't make the catch. That makes it Punt. If he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Throws in a hurry. And it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmate. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And 
he's tackled at the 24-yard line. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He's got the corner. Smith fields it at the 40. Gets to about the 47-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Five wide. He steps off the 26 yard line. That's good for him. That brings him second and five. here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's scrambling. And they got him. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Second and goal. Ball on the seven. Quick throw, and he shoves out of bounds at the three. Is still on the field. There were five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. One of the things that quarterbacks look for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown. I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually making the throw for the touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Cross complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down. Right around the 24. That brings up second and nine. Six yard line. 
Jones is a tap out at the 46 yard line. That brings, that brings up second, second and five. five. Second down and five. Ball on the 46. And it's caught. He's taken down to the 37 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's at the 20, and he tackles him hard at the 15 yard line. That's a team of 14 yards on the ball. That makes it so much more tackling. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's good. Texas a and is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kurt, you know, sometimes self-scouting is the best thing you can do, and I don't think they did a very good job of it. It's another example of no matter how good you are, or no matter how good you've been in the past, you have to continue to evolve as an offense. And this offensive coordinator might look at this game plan and say, you know what, I can learn from this, and we can be better down the road. Right down, around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Great concentration to haul it in. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made the 17 yard line. That makes it so They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry. 
chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he adds the extra point. So a six-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school grind it out and burn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle that makes it run up the gut. That makes it 76. seven-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Now, there's going to be some time left on the clock after this punt. The defense had better be ready because this game is going to be on them. Just over a minute left. but they're still trailing. Well, they're down a touchdown, and there is less than a minute left, so there's no time to waste. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Needed that play, and he dropped it. Johnson's is the the receiver on the play. That makes it second From the room, 31-yard line. It's second down. Looks for his tight end over the middle. He's tackled at the middle. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. He fires. Second down, 10 yards to go. All on the 37-yard line. He lets it fly. It's caught. We got a time all game. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game. And this is where Poise really 
takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. up the kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback so the Aggies have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game yeah but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very very important now he's just got to stay calm make good decisions and move his offense down the field once and all, going deep. Doesn't get there. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Second and 10, all on the 25-yard line. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely get a feel it the next day. He airs it out. Just a tremendous job on that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. What a play by the defense. There's no doubt that their mind is on that national championship, and they're playing every down like they want to win that thing. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Texas a and going to have to use their second time out of the half. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Texas A&M's out of timeout. Quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. 